And in terms of individual, um, at the individual level, I think there are two main principles that can be applied to actually improve welfare of horses in the long term. One is to remember that as a rider or a trainer or a, or a teacher, you're ethically responsible for all the activities that you conduct on horses and that you do have a responsibility to minimise the impact of what you do um, on the welfare of horses. So I guess going back to what I started talking about, um, this is where you um, actually have the responsibility to be the do-gooders and I've heard some stories about people doing really good things um, uh, in terms of their own practices and in terms of pointing out that um, some areas where other people might need to change the way in which they do things. So the process I've described I think really starts with taking a step back and thinking from a different perspective. I hope some of you have been able to, to do that today. And I think if you do that, um, in the long run, that will mean that the activities that are conducted in equestrian sports are acceptable to the general public. And that will be something that um, will, needs to be a measure, um, if you like, um, in terms of ensuring that um, equestrian sports are sustainable and ethical in the long term.